Hi, I'm Dennis Daly with some things you might have missed since you and I got together last. Scientists with the U.S. Geological Survey say the continental shelves that are being exposed when polar ice caps recede may hold double the amount of oil than earlier thought. A team collaborated with international researchers to conduct the first ever comprehensive assessment of undiscovered oil and gas in the Arctic. Most of the reserves are said to be down less than 1,500 feet, making them accessible using modern drilling techniques. By the way, the nations that own the area involved are the U.S. and Russia, Canada, Denmark, and Norway. State officials in Pennsylvania say an open space outside of Philadelphia that has remained largely untouched since the time of William Penn will stay that way forever. The Philadelphia Inquirer says the 426 acres have been passed down over the years from wealthy Pennsylvanian to wealthy Pennsylvanian. But when the last owner died three years ago, many wanted to turn it into a huge, wealthy housing development. Now a 10-way agreement will conserve the land. Finally, the international group that has been keeping tabs on the surviving passengers from the Titanic says the last survivor has died. Milvina Dean was 97. She lived in England, and the Associated Press said she had been suffering from pneumonia. She was a little over two months old when the Titanic went down in April of 1912. Ironically, just a few months ago, the two major stars of the movie Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, had sent a big check to her nursing home to help defray her expenses. I'm Dennis Daly. Check back for more later right here.